These encroaching myths just get so silly. Attack. Okay. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Viego Lee Sin next deck on this casual Friday. I feel like this deck is going to be very good and I, I don't know, I, I just don't feel like too many people are experimenting with Viego as much as they should be. Kind of see like the same Viego decks, it, but there are a lot of really good champions and I feel like Lee Sin is an amazing champion right now. Viego is an amazing champion. I think that they are, you know, in the top five of champions. And so putting them together, I think, makes a lot of sense. They do sit on the same part of the mana curve at five. But Lee Sin's a kind of champion that you don't really need to play at five. You know, maybe you want to play Viego on five. So we're going to put them together and, and uh, see if we can build a deck around the two of them. Now, we're, we're also going to have Eye of the Dragon. I feel like that's a, a perfect card to have early on. That'll get us some... Um, ephemeral units like the draglings that can be dying and stuff but of course with eye of the dragon we need to be able to play two spells around and so to help with that we're going to be playing three retreat return that gives us two different spells in one and then also a couple of copies of sonic wave another way to get multiple copies of one because sonic wave works great with the draglings giving the draglings challenger and you, you can make them four one challengers but that should also work amazing with it with encroaching mist being able to give these challenger also sounds good to me. Camervoran Soldier uh, is you know kind of a card that's going to hold this all together. Like it works great with uh, um, Viego, obviously, obviously, but then it goes really good with the both the Retreat Return and the Sonic Wave, as we talked about giving the um, the Miss Challenger. But then also this is going to be like the perfect card to put back in your hand and replay and get more Encroaching Miss. We'll also have Shadow Assassin as another card to be able to retreat return. So those are going to be the main two that we want to retreat return. One copy of Sapling Toss in here over the third Vile Feast. We'll see if, you know, when we play, you know, we can be seeing is this Sapling Toss actually better than just playing a third Vile Feast. Uh, I'm thinking that it could be just a really cheap spell to help us be able to double spell fairly easily. And it's also a challenger and an ephemeral unit. So it's like it's a it's an easy way to have something die for Viego and we can even have we can even use twin disciplines give the sapling toss plus three plus zero and it can be a five one challenger so it can take down like Sivir and Ruin Runner and stuff like that so that could be kind of cool um, so I'm gonna I want to try out one of those instead of just the third Vile Feast let's see besides that Concussive Palms another card that we can pick up with Retreat Return um, obviously we have Hydra Vines at the top end. I, I'm just going three Hydra Vine. Definitely really considered playing two Hydra Vine, one Rekindler. I'm not sure. I'm going to just go three Hydra Vine though. And then some Deep Meditations to keep those spells coming because with Lee Sin you need to keep those spells coming. So that, that should help out uh, with that. And then, you know, hopefully these things help us with the casting two spells for Deep Meditation. All right. But anyway, that's our deck. Let's give it a try. V Ego Lee Sin. I bet this deck's going to be pretty good. So let's see how it does. Just wearing a polo today on Casual Friday. We got Gangplank Sejuani as our first deck. And Luck gifting out the sub to the Protector. Thank you so much there, Luck. I appreciate that. That's our first sub of the day. Alright, let's see what we got. So we got Viego Soldier. That's a good start. Um, do I want to keep the Concussive Palm? Concussive Palm will be good against like the champions later on in the game. Might as well keep it in our hand. Okay, I can see that Sapling Toss doing something. So they're going to be like plundering and nabbing and all that kind of stuff. All that sounds pretty rude. Hmm. All right, I'm going to save the sapling toss. So I think that maybe my opponent just would rather turn on Plunder than do 2 damage to the Eye of the Dragon. Don't 
Another eye dragon. So if I want to play two spells, if I play this, we have five mana, so I cannot go Deep Meditation and Sapling, but I could go Concussive Palm and Sapling. Maybe I just don't play the other Eye of the Dragon and just play Deep Meditation and Sapling Toss. Give me the Draggling. Right now, they don't have anything that would block Viego. Not my first gum fight. But I guess if they have three sisters. Oh, just Monster Harpoon? My heart. Wow. Wow, that was a good turn for them. Killed the Eye of the Dragon and the Viego. Alright, so they still have one of my cards. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> That's the card? Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Man, yeah, that's... That's gonna be tough. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. My fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. So I want to play two spells for obvious reasons. I need, I need things to die so I have room for the draglings. Man, that Hydra Vine. What a killer. Ooh, got some fight <laughs> what a killer. What is when you return malevolence? Neither the flames nor the deaths could claim me, Captain. See that card being parlay, Gangplank's champion spell. Why this 3-3 three is attacking? I yeah, I don't, I don't know why that 3-3 three is attacking. They 
just let me heal my Nexus for two. Okay, so they're not getting Hydra Vine now. Alright, or Powder Cake. Alright, so they are out of room. I'm at six out of eight, as far as that goes. I really hope they don't draw Sejuani. I wanted to save Vengeance for Sejuani. Or they just top deck Sejuani. Then I'm in trouble. I'm actually just going to buff up the health the of Lee Sin. Yeah, as long as they don't find Sejuani. Oh, that is actually probably worse than Sejuani. I didn't even really consider the Dreadway. Wow. We have some opponents today. They are... They're drawing some cards. Wow, yeah, never mind. I guess I'm dead. Alright, well, we need Shadow Assassin to do some work. Just went from 20 to 2, like that, and kill all your, your entire board. I think that was the best possible top deck, that Dreadway. So obviously if they have any way to do damage to my Nexus, I'm dead, it doesn't matter. Right now, so I I have to kill that gang plank. I will play my part. Oppose me and die. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just over. Yeah, this is over no matter what I do. Say your farewells, you poor thing. In my I'll cut my name into you. What's that you got there? Came a long way for a boat. <laughs> well, Okay, that got rid of a lot of the cards that I need to get rid of. We need something that heals my Nexus pretty good. That won't do it. Wow, what a Dreadway draw. They still Hydravine? The best possible card. Because I'm at 20 and I have like that full board. Even, I guess even Sejuani isn't, like Sejuani's not killing me, right? Like it was, it was just that Dreadway. Especially how I drew the Vengeance right afterwards. It was, that was the only possible card. Alright, slowing down Pirate Burn's going to be, going to be a difficult proposition. I'm not expecting a win here. Not without Eye of the Dragon. Like, I could mulligan the Shadow Assassin also. Maybe I should. Just because we need, like, Eye of the Dragon, like, Shadow Assassin is going to be pretty slow. Where's my axe? Okay, ready. Yeah, the, we just play the Heimer deck. Uh, the last deck we just played, the Glorious Evolution. That was a Heimer deck, but um, 
luck if you want to send me yours. I'll definitely take a look at it and probably play it. This didn't go so well. Submission or death for all who leave. Well, good news, they are killing something which helps out my Viego. You the bad was that the card they grabbed with spray fin? Let's see if we can avenge our first loss against Sejuani Gangplank. Let's see if we can. Vengeance is perfect for the champions. Champions are going to be really scary. today they're really living the life yeah they are truly living the life I feel like we have to kill the Crackshot Corsair. Hmm, I have a dragon. Could have had you just a little earlier, but... Right after I used my double spell card. Alright, so basically just make it so like that's one less powder monkey that they get. Submission or death for all who leave. But I'm I'm glad that they used that monster harpoon before my Viego. That's good. I rarely forget and never forgive. The dark beckons. I will trade Viego for Gangplank. I got another Viego in hand. I am willing to make that trade. Or if they want to just kill my 1-1 one -one and give me an Encroaching Mist, I'm cool with that too. Troyan won't do any good. I will not be made to wait. Okay. Happy with that trade, we have a better board now. We have one extra card. Yeah, I got one this one's 
also. For us. So I don't know why this is a 6-6. Six, six. Shouldn't this be a 6-5? I think so, sometimes Viego's bugged like that. Like this, this should have been a six-five. You own what you take. All right, my plan is not attacking with the encroaching mist, so that the encroaching mist will die at the end of round, and therefore we'll get another encroaching mist to block it next round. So I'll have two encroaching mists for next round. I want to twin disciplines that so they don't get the plunder. But also mean I don't get oh, I guess I'll just give them the plunder. It means I don't get this blocker also, but that's okay. These encroaching mists just get so silly, so fast. It's just gonna be a leveled up Diego now. Attack. Okay. use vengeance, but I'm just going to save it. Because obviously this level's up Diego. They're dead. Alright, one and two. There we go. Alright, we got a Viego mirror. This will be interesting to see if, you know, Lee Sin will be an upgrade over um, not having Lee Sin, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's the way to say that. Let's mulligan, retreat, return, and vile feast. I don't know. I kind of want to treat, keep that retreat, return. All right, so treasure seeker can get vile feasted. I want to save sapling toss for you know, like the. Ravenous Butcher or something like that, something that has two health. Okay, that's a that's a good idea. Talizu says what the nerf that that, that Talizu would do to Ruin Runner is just to simply make it six mana. I think that's a I think that's a fair card at six mana. I could see doing that. Shadow Assassin. For Camera Born Soldier plus Death Mark.
submission or death for all who leave. Alright, this should work out just fine for us. Some damage. But we'll be able to death mark this Viego, get that out of here. Man, retreat your turn real good. Retreat your turn real good. And obviously, unfortunately, we don't get to, you know, they get to play the Lee Sin before combat. I didn't want to, like, play Lee Sin, they play another Viego, then I don't get to attack at all. I just took the three damage. A Shark Chariot. Wow. Could be a really good Spirit's Refuge. Got seven mana. So they're gonna play this Waking Sands and get another get the shark back. Oh, okay. That's I'm I would rather see that. So they don't get the 5-2 and the 3-1 attackers. It does fizzle the spell, so it doesn't count as a spell towards leveling up Lee Sin though now, and so we're still at five out of eight instead of six out of eight. So two Viegos are dead. I really need like deep meditation and keep the cards coming. Like they're they're glimpse beyonds, right? Like those extra four cards they've gotten from Glimpse Beyond. It's enticing to go Sonic Wave, challenge one of these things. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. Center your spirit. See if that if that vengeance would have resolved, we would be at eight out of eight. Or dealt five damage to their nexus also they're right there. Oh yeah, that's true, that's their second spear leech now also. So they've had two spear leech, two glimpse beyond. They just have so many cards. They found the third. Nine mana. Two. Cost ten mana for all of these. Down to five. Enemies would be foolish to underestimate. Oh, really, Deep Meditation? Now you show up? So if I play Deep Meditation, I have eight mana left, so I do not have the ability to Twin Disciplines plus Spirit's Refuge. I guess I don't have to Twin Disciplines, though, if I go Deep Meditation. We can just go Deep Meditation, Spirit's Refuge. Could wait till next turn to Spirit's Refuge, also. Conflict is all in the mind. I fight with the I guess I don't have to Spirit's Refuge. Even though, like, this time it would heal. Your 
It would heal eight if this happens. Oh man. I didn't really consider atrocity whenever I just took all that damage. I didn't consider atrocity at all. Wow, yeah, I did I did not consider that at all whenever I just took all that damage. This shouldn't change anything. Yeah. Ugh, I did not consider atrocity. Man. I must train more. Alright, I I can't imagine we're gonna lose to Echo Vi. <laughs> but who knows? Today hasn't been my day so far, so who knows, but I, I wouldn't think so. Let's keep deep meditation. Good job, Frickle Frackles. Says use your labs guide to earn the Malphite card back. Awesome! Yeah, glad glad to help that I could help like that. Glad to hear. All right, well, as always, have a good day at work, Nasher. Thanks for hanging out today. They have a parallel convergence in their deck, which is start a free four mana slow start a free attack with each ephemeral thing that you got. Why are they not attacking into my elusive? they played like an echo wanted to be able to do that first for the spiderling so if they played an echo then i could sonic wave and challenge the echo all right another parallel convergence i'm just gonna go and play that Yay, I have the dragon. It's too late for you. Mm -hmm. You cannot escape. We each hold a world within. So go sapling toss, but I don't have like another good spell to play right now. Yeah, I should have gone retreat your turn. I I was worried with the retreat your turn about being blown out I do by Mystic Shot. For us. Like blown out is I don't know, I could easily deal with it. So I will have the mana for Vengeance, but if I do Vengeance, I won't really have the mana for anything else. Breathe in, breathe out. Justice first hit. Eat this. Well, I absolutely love that. I don't have to try to spend a whole lot of mana on Vengeance and hope they don't have, you know, like a, a whatever it's called. Those who listen. If it ain't my favorite 
favorite time traveling genius punk. A deny. That's what I would have been worried about. Was it deny? Called shot, create another. So this is Echo's called shot. Creating another parallel convergence in their deck. So I, if I deny that, then the Echo is gone. But I think that's okay. Parallel convergence is four mana, so I don't need to, to keep deny available for it right now. They have five parallel convergences in their deck. They've played that card five times. What's up, show me? Like in the new board, a little fun heavy, but yeah. It's just incredible. What is gained when we return malevolence? I guess my eye of the dragon could be attacking also. Out of twenty. Three, four, five, six, seven. I command you. All right, well, that's big time. Yeah, so now with the Encroaching Mist dying at the end of the round, that will be uh, leveled up Viego, which will take out the Echo. I don't have to worry about this Vi killing me, or killing my Viego. So the Parallel Convergence, like the, the thing that's good about this for them, like they get the Free strike. But I have retreat return. I'm just gonna go ahead and retreat return this and put another Kimavor and Soldier in play. Alright, cool. Yeah, that still just kills that. And then Viego takes over being leveled up. GG's. Alright, so it only ended up with a two and three. A uh, little disappointing. I was definitely thinking that we were going to be going with a better record with the deck. I think the deck's probably pretty strong, but, uh, you know, it just wasn't our day. We had some opponents really running hot. Uh, the one-off sapling toss did look pretty good. I think I liked that over just the third vile feast. I think that it, it got to do some different stuff with the, with the challenging and everything that, that did look pretty good. We may be interested in trying to find some more room for more of them. We weren't, like, the best Lee Sin deck, right? We didn't have, like, the best, like, cheap burst spells and stuff like that to help enable Lee Sin. Um, we didn't really get to do Hydrovine stuff. I think only one game did we ever even draw Hydrovine, so that, that was a little disappointing because of how powerful Hydrovine is. We had our opponents do more Hydrovine. Like, <laughs> our opponent had our Hydrovine in play for longer than we did whenever we played against that NAB player. But, uh... Yeah, I, like, I think that Retreat Return and Sonic Wave are both really underrated cards. I think both of these really perf perform well. You saw, like, the last game, like, where they can be a little awkward if they're just, like, sitting in your hand and you don't have, like, the units and stuff. But once you do find the units, you know, once we do find, like, the Camelborn Soldier and stuff, they, they really perform well. Um, it, it's a great, like, even just this, that plus two, plus zero with the Soldier does help just level up, you know, turbo level up your Viego even. Um, when you're when you're giving you know like your encroaching miss challenger and give it the plus two plus zero like that was pretty cool, and yeah retreat return 
Um, we did get to like one time get to retreat, return our soldier, put it back into play, get another encroaching mist, and then death mark that new encroaching mist. That was pretty cool. So yeah, I really like both those cards. I think those cards are, are very good. But that's going to be it here, though, for Viego Lee Sin. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Try the deck out yourself. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think, because I think this is a powerful one that could be pretty good. I'd like to hear y'all's feedback with the deck, and if, if you're doing well with it and stuff like that, I'd really like to hear, so let me know. All right, but that's going to be it here for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.